If somebody offers you a turkey burger, do you sometimes say, ah, I think I'll pass? They're usually a little bit dry, they're un uneventful, they're just, there's no flavor to them, they're just unappealing, that kind of thing. Well, I tell you, I love to eat turkey burgers. I mean, I eat them every week. And so today I'm gonna show you my recipe that is absolutely delicious. We're adding some, you know, fresh, finely diced onion to this. We're adding some herbs, fresh herbs that just really bring the flavor out. And I'm adding some egg to kind of bind it together. I've got a lot, of, a few other ingredients in there as well I'm gonna show you in a minute. But the bottom line is these are delicious. You are gonna love them. You're gonna, in fact, your family will probably say, let's have turkey burgers this week. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them delicious right after this. So let me show you the ingredients that are in this to make these delicious turkey burgers. Here we go. First up, we have our ground turkey. I have a pound of that. I've got some fresh herbs. Here we've got some fresh basil and parsley. And I tell you, when you use fresh, it is so much better. And you can use quite a bit in this. And it just makes the flavors just come alive, guys. It's really good. Next up is an apple. We're putting an apple in here. Yes, I'm going to cut that up. I haven't done it yet because it's just going to turn brown while we're waiting and talking about this. And I didn't want that to happen. But we're going to cut up a nice, this is a, an organic gala apple. Nice little bit of sweetness to it. We're going to peel it too. Here we have some onion, which I've chopped up with the super fine dice. Next up is an egg, balsamic vinegar. Next up is our cheese. I'm using some cheddar cheese here. You can see I cut it up into little chunks, almost like a super fine dice. The reason I like this is because we've got little pockets of cheese throughout your whole burger. It's really delicious, guys, to try it this way. We'll need some garlic powder and some salt. All right, I've got all the apple chopped up. I'm gonna place it in a bowl right here. I'll place the turkey into the bowl with the apple, and I, I like to just get it started and start mixing that apple in. That way, hopefully, it won't turn too brown on me. I'm going to toss in some of the onions. I may not add all of the onions. You can add as much as you like. I kind of like to get a feel for it, you know, just put some in, mix it up. And a little more. Notice that I'm not putting my hand that's been in the meat in the onion now, right? because I might not use all this onion for this particular recipe. I might save it for something else and I don't want to get turkey in there, maybe contaminate it. So always be mindful, you guys, when you're, you know, working with food that you don't mix, you know, get that meat in with some vegetables that you don't intend it to be. All right, I'm gonna take my egg and I'm gonna scramble my egg a little bit with a fork here, just to make it easier to blend. before I add it. So pour that in there. That's our little binder that's gonna help keep our burger together. And I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder to this, a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna add some parsley to this. So I'm gonna chop up my parsley. You know, you can use quite a bit, like I said, because when you're using fresh, you always use a little bit more than you would if you were using dried, but the fresh is way better. Get your parsley nice and fine, and then just sprinkle it in. Now for my, probably my favorite herb here is basil. So I'm gonna add some of this. Love this stuff. Tastes great, it's good for you. I'm gonna add a few leaves of that. Now what you want to do here with this is just stack those leaves on top of each other and give it the old chiffonade technique. And just roll it up and cut away. And you're going to cut these little strips and then we'll cut it again because the pieces will be too long if I don't cut it again. Okay, so they're pretty long. So you just cut it the other way and you got a nice fine chop. And we'll toss that in. Okay, and then we'll add the balsamic here. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon per, um, I'm gonna add a tablespoon per pound of turkey. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Probably about another half. All right, so we'll just mix that up. You can use a spoon if this really bothers you. <laughs> it's okay. I just like to get it all mixed in. All right, so once you get it all mixed up, add your cheese. That'll be last, because I don't want that to get smushed up, right? 
So I'm gonna add my cheese. And as this is cooking, you're gonna notice the cheese melting in it. And it's gonna get on the outside of your, you know, the burger. It's gonna get in the pan a little bit too, but that's okay. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna go over to the stove as soon as I finish working this in. And we're gonna start cooking these up. All right, so we're ready to cook here. I've got my pan over some medium heat. You could, you could barbecue these if you wanted to. I just don't happen to want to do that today. But I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan just so that it doesn't stick. Just a little bit. Let that get hot. This is avocado oil, by the way. All right, so I'm just gonna take a handful, literally, of our turkey burger here and form it up. And I'm gonna drop it in the pan. Now when I cook these, I do cover them at one point, And I just cook them, I have my instant read thermometer and I'm gonna cook them until they say 165 degrees. And then I'll pull them off. And I usually touch these up with a, just a little bit of salt on top. I know we put a little bit inside, but I like to add a little bit more. Now this is getting to, getting going here, and I just cover them. And I just check them in a couple of minutes. All right, let's have a look-see here. It's been about three minutes. I think these are ready to flip over. You can see the cheese is kind of oozed out a little bit, which is fine, not a problem. Putting the lid on it makes it cook up quicker. That's why I do it. These are looking beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna cover them again, let them go for a few more minutes, and they'll be done. All right, so it's always a good idea to test your meat, make sure it's done. So just stick your instant read thermometer in there. This is well over 165. So these are definitely done, and even though they're well over 165, they are still gonna be nice and juicy. Now obviously you can serve these up in a bun like a traditional hamburger, but I like to eat mine a lot of times just plain with some vegetables, a salad. Sometimes I put it in a salad, it's delicious. So there's our burger, guys. It's delicious. I'm gonna taste it. I'm not gonna put anything else with it. I'm just gonna taste it alone, which is usually how I eat it anyway, like I said. Um, I like it with vegetables or I put it in my salad. It's really scrumptious. This is definitely a moist burger. You're gonna love that part of it. The flavors, you've got the balsamic that isn't overpowering at all. In fact, I might add a little bit more next time. I think maybe two tablespoons for a pound of burger might be good, but that is delicious. I can taste the onions that are just throughout it and those little pockets of cheese, you're gonna love it. So thanks so much for watching everybody. If you like the video, please share it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Click the subscribe button at the end of the video or down below the video and the bell that's next to it. Now that bell will notify you when new videos come out every week. See you next time.